everyone, it's Anya here and I'm back with another video for Ophelia Talks and today we are making the border for our scrap buster blanket and we are having a look at how to make sure that your border does not go wavy. So we made the blanket and we made the cushion in a previous video and in this video we are making the border. Very often when people make borders that's where it goes wrong and they've got a beautiful um sort of you know inner of the blanket but then their border lets them down because it goes wavy and although i have already got a video about how to avoid that and how to do it so your border does not go wavy again i have got the same tips in this video because for a successful border, you need to keep a few things in mind, okay? And we are going to do a linen stitch border, and that means we are going to use single crochets. And that's ideal because doing a border in single crochet will then also reduce the chances of it going wavy. So, first of all, what do you need? So, you've got your blanket. Um, as you know, I made it in a 375, the hook. And I like this hook um, and it worked really well. So for me now, I think I can use both these uh, numbers. The one I usually use, the three and a half, but the 375 works as well. But for the border, sometimes I do recommend going down a size. So for me, I could use a three and a half. Again, try it out. I am going to use my 375, but it does work if you reduce your hook size as well and of course you need scissors and a darning needle because you'll be sewing in some ends and look at that i have been really good and i have sewn in all my ends so i am ready for the border now in a previous video i made a cushion to go with this um, blanket and i used meadow and magenta so those are the two colors that i'm going to be using for the blanket border as well so it brings it all together so let's get started with making your slip knot insert your hook and let's get ready to start i am going to get started around the back right here so i can show you how to do it on this side how to do the corner and then how to do this side as well. So you can just get started under any V. There we go. I just insert and I do a single crochet just like this. Tighten it up a bit because that first one is always funny. Then just keep going by putting one stitch in each V. Now, you have got to keep an eye. If you think that one stitch in each V is too many, you can lose one by doing this, by doing two single crochets together. And to be honest, it doesn't matter if you lose a few, even if you think you don't need to. But yeah, everything to avoid a wavy border. If you find that the blanket inside starts puckering, then of course you have done too many. But I'm thinking on a size like this, um, you know, do a couple, maybe three together. If you have a, you know, double bed size blanket here that you're dealing with, do make sure you lay it down often, often, often and look at it because that's the only way you're going to see whether your border is going to be wavy or not, okay? So now I've made it to the corner and I'm going to designate this stitch here, this V here, if I can get into it properly, there we go, as my corner stitch, okay? And I am going to do in there one single crochet, another single crochet, one chain and yeah two more single crochets into that same stitch there we go so we have two single crochets one chain and two single crochets i think that's going to make a nice corner once again if you find that that corner is going starting to come out you know that the point is taller than your sides 
then reduce the amount of stitches that you do there. Do one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet. Now we are going to take a look at the sides here. So this time we don't have the V's to pick up and you want to pick up in the same places all over the side. So do you decide to go round the stitch here, round the body of the stitch, then you have to do it all over. If you decide to go into, which is more difficult, and pick up some strands, so there's a strand underneath and there's some strands on the top there, that's more difficult. Um, but you make sure you do something that looks uniform throughout your line here, throughout your side. I try to put three single crochets per two lengths of double crochets. So here is a double crochet and here, so I will put one here, one where they meet and one there. Let's try that. <laughs> so where they meet and then one around there. See, and if you keep doing it like that, it looks uniform and it looks okay because of course we have that double crochet at the end, remember, we can, we can use that for that. If you decide to go into it, you're going to be looking maybe harder to find your locations. Oh, that, that goes around it anyway. It's just gauging it, really. It's making the decision for each and every single crochet that you do. There we go. I think that looks okay. So I'm going to continue like this all around my blanket and I will meet you when I have finished the whole round. So in each corner, I'm doing two single crochets, one chain and two single crochets. Okay, so I've made it to the end of my first row of single crochets around my blanket. That first standing single crochet always closes up for me, but this one is nice and big, so I go under there and I do a slip stitch and that closes my round. Now, for the next row, we are going to do a linen stitch and we need to know where we are in relation to the corner. So it makes sense for us just to start in the corner. So let's just make a slip knot here. Insert our hook. And let's just do the corner. So find that chain space in the middle of the corner there. And we are going to do a single crochet back in there for another single crochet, a chain and another two single crochets. Okay, so a linen border is doing chain one, skip one, single crochet in the next. So we're going to do that chain one, skip one, single crochet in the next. Chain one, skip one, single crochet in the next. This is a stitch that will keep things really nice and tight. And because you're still doing single crochets, there's little chance of waviness. You do have to, on the other hand, make sure it doesn't pull together because of course we are doing chains in between and they might bring it together again. Make sure you lay out your blanket at regular intervals. Now, this row, obviously, we are doing single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain one. And we are going to do the next row opposite. So I am just going to do a few more stitches here. And then I am already going to start my meadow third row because then straight away you can see what it is going to look like so i've done a little bit here taking out my hook i'm now going back to my meadow once again doing exactly the same thing as before making my slip knot inserting the hook starting in the corner space Find that corner space because we're only doing one chain, it's not so easy to find. 
two single crochets, one chain and two single crochets. Then we have here, we're going to skip this one, but here we have a single crochet to skip. So we are going to do a chain. Then you're going to do a single crochet around the chain space of the magenta. Chain one, single crochet around the chain space. And there you go. Look at that border appearing. And straight away, look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous how you can see that appearing? And to be honest, that's all I'm going to do. Like, if the border can look this gorgeous, it's worth doing it. I mean, I didn't set out to um, use the meadow and the magenta. Had I known, because it was only towards the end that I sort of worked out, oh, I think I like that colour and I think it's going to go well with the blanket, I would have used a little bit more of both in here just to bring it even more together. But I think with the pillow and the border now, it will come together. So... I am now going to finish this. Now, obviously, we have not counted our stitches. And this is a repeat of two. So when you come to just before the corner, you are going to have to fudge or not. So because it's only a um, repeat of two, it's easy to fudge. You just do an extra stitch and off you go again. Or you just miss a stitch and you leave it at that. OK, so it is quite easy to sort that. And yeah, I hope that uh, this little trick of doing the two colours at the same time, two rows at the same time, will give you sort of the impetus. Because for me just now, that sort of gave me like, oh, wow, look how pretty this is. Let's keep going. You know, that gave me a real sort of, um, yeah want to uh, continue and this is how I do it I pull up the loop and I continue so by the time you feel like you've done maybe 10 centimeters or so or 20 you just do that last stitch pull up your thing and I go back and I do that one again it's just so lovely to see the effect straight away And here we have some footage of the blanket on the bed. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.